Welcome to Moab, Utah. The year is 2023, but we're partying like it's 1993. I found an old videotape with recordings my father captured on a bike trip to Moab 30 years ago, and now I'm here to recreate that tape shot by shot. So how many shots can we match in less than a day? Let's find out on a quick hike and a bike in the world famous Moab Desert. started when I was rummaging through a drawer and found an old box of family belongings. I pulled out the box and there she was. An 8mm camcorder tape with Moab written on the side. I popped it in a camera and I couldn't believe my eyes. It was my father Alan and his friend Chris shredding the gnar on titanium mountain bikes in skin tight lycra. Truly incredible footy that I never knew existed. So I digitized the tape to my phone and made my way to the desert. This footage might look old, but it's not. It was shot on October 23rd, 2022 with my very own dad cam. That's what I like to call my camcorder. It's a 1997 JVC camera I bought off eBay. Say hello to my kid 30 years from now. Hello. Um, I don't know your name yet. Bart. Hello, Bart. Uh, yeah, we are here in Arches National Park. We are driving what you call an automobile. <laughs> Despite the piss poor quality, the nostalgic charm of a dad cam goes unmatched. So Matt, you were one years old and your dad just abandoned your, your mom to go on the trip? <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. It's okay, I don't hold it against him. The AdSense on this YouTube video makes up for it. But all the shots you see now are ones we plan to recreate. And while all the footage is priceless, we're most excited to go find this sign. Moab City Dump. That's right, America's most scenic dump. But after a quick and thorough Google search, we're not certain this sign still exists. But there's only one way to find out. And so the search for famous landmarks was underfoot, beginning with a hunt for the delicate arch. Of course, we had to hike there. And so at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, we drove through Arches National Park and found our first match. Kick your face, call me the Look at this, this is actually the exact same spot. Yep, fascinating stuff. 30 years later, and all those rocks still look like rocks. Although the ground hasn't changed, the minivans do look a little different. So in my dad's tape, there's uh, some little hut. Turns out that's just right at the entrance. It was the first Pizza Hut, actually. <laughs> that's not true. It wasn't actually the first Pizza Hut. It was the first Papa John's. And though it seems that not much has changed, this establishment no longer sells pizza, sadly. So bring your own snacks before you arrive. Ah uh, yes, the beautiful desert. Just as we pictured it, heavy rainfall with a chance of hail. It was really cold, and so we choreographed shots as fast as we could. Like Cows fumbling. runs by from the right to the left. I like fumble it, and then I zoom in, I zoom out, I zoom back in. Baby, go ahead on. That's my dad on the left, and that's me on the right. I guess we really did fall from the same tree. Onwards and upwards, we scaled the same red hills three decades later. Ooh, waterfall. And within the hour, we had stumbled upon the delicate arch in all its glory. The only difference between then and now was the crummy weather and the eager crowds. And once Red Poncho Man left the scene, the Arch's only friends were four underprepared Canadians. Guys, you look stoked to be here. I love this place. I'm so happy right now. A warm sleep brought us into day two, and with only a few hours at our disposal, we headed to the legendary trails of Slick Rock. We have made it to Slick Rock. Sadly, we don't have much time here because we have to get back on the road in a couple hours to head to Salt Lake City. Nice rig. Oh, thanks, man. With no time to waste, we exploded in the parking lot for our next couple matchups.
If you haven't shared a cold beer and a warm, crisp handshake with a friend recently, are you really living? I don't think so, pal. You'd think that 30 years later, the entrance to these trails would have changed, but that's not the case. Aside from a few minor differences, you pretty much got the same damn sign, same damn fence, and same damn cattle guard. And if we follow the hill upward, we'll find that the same white line might mark the start of the trail too. And while our modern day bikes are obviously much better, is it just me or does our footage actually look worse? For the nerds out there, I'm shooting on VHSC, and my dad was shooting on 8mm tape. I think we are at the exact spot that my dad shot their first ascent. It looks pretty similar. I mean, it's the first, like, scary kind of drop away of the trail, so I imagine that they were pretty stoked to shoot this. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Same spot, different dudes. Hi, there's a danger sign down there. And my theory for getting past that is uh, mind over matter, but uh, usually in practice it's uh, rear end over handlebar. <laughs> okay, my dad and his friend are gonna find this insulting cows. This is just plain rude. They were faster than you were in 1993, cows. The cameras may not have been as sharp in 1993, and the bikes may not have been as squishy, but the amount of fun was exactly the same. This is uh, last year's world champion, Al Dennison, uh, attempting this hill climb here. Uh, his name is a household word around these areas. Oh, look at that. No problem. This is three times Dirt Diaries winner, Matt Dennison, attempting this hill climb. He's a household name and on the YouTube. I'd say we're doing pretty well of recreating these shots. The only thing that's missing are the old bikes and the spandex. My dad was like the original vlogger, setting up his camera, putting on the tripod. Vlogging before vlogging was a thing. Damn, when I grow up, I want to be like those dudes. We couldn't find the exact same spot for this shot, but hey, close enough. We were running out of time and we needed to hit the road. So we got up and packed out. <laughs> Your dad's gonna be tripping out when he sees our video. <laughs> we couldn't match all of our favorite shots from the old tape, but it's the little wins, right? Yes. And besides, we gotta leave something for the next trip to Moab. We only scratched the surface of my dad's old tape, let alone Moab itself. But we left with all we needed. Priceless moments shared in the desert amongst friends and treasured memories of a nice, crisp handshake. Oh, and you might be wondering, what about the dump? Well, bad news. I got taken down uh, about 15 years ago because we lost out to um, a town in the left. Well, until next time, we say goodbye to America's second most scenic dump. Howdy, partner. If you're new here, subscribe to the Mahalo My Dude YouTube channel and check out our merch at MahaloMyDude.com.